Visiting today with Janesville Parker boys basketball coach Matt Bredesen. Uh, coach, just before we get started on your uh, preview, just tell us how many years you've been at Parker uh, and what keeps you coming back every year. Well, this is my fifth year at Janesville Parker. Um, you know, one of the things that and one of the reasons that I decided to, you know, take the job to begin with is obviously it's in a great conference. We're in the Big Eight, which is traditionally one of the best D1 leagues in the state. Um, and, you know, so every year having the opportunity to compete at the highest level of basketball, being a basketball guy is great. I mean, and we've done a really a pretty good job over the last few years of kind of rebuilding this. Whereas when I came, they were coming off. They had won six games in three years prior to me getting here. We won four the first two years. Then we went to sectionals, uh, won 18. And then we were th we won 13 games last year as well. And I mean, this year we're off to the three and three start. But I mean, one reason to you know continue to come back is the buy-in that we've got from the players and the players' commitment to trying to kind of continue to turn this around and you know build up the Janesville Parker program. Tell us, uh, tell us about the three wins. I, I know coaches will tell you that they can learn more from the losses, but tell us about the three wins. What's worked well so far this year? Um, we've had a few guys in and out of the lineup that are important to us so far this year. So I think things that worked well is, I mean, we went up and beat Madison Memorial without Sam Best, who is one of our top three scorers and a four-year varsity guy. So, I mean, I think that some of our juniors have really stepped up and kind of grown up as basketball players by being forced to play roles that they normally wouldn't play because we've been down a couple guys. So I think that's good. I mean, Trey Miller's a tremendous leader. He averaged 17 a game last year and was second team all big eight. And right now he's currently, he was leading the big eight in scoring going into this week. Um, obviously it's close. So I don't know if that'll still be the case when we get to next Wednesday, but he's averaging about 20, three a game right now so I mean he's a tremendous leader he tells guys where they should be leads by example all the time and I mean his leadership's for sure led to some of our younger guys growing up quite a bit early on in the year and then JJ Douglas is a tremendous athlete I mean division one football player actually I mean got a lot of press last week because he had 32 rebounds in a game um, he is the big eights leading rebounder, averaging 17 boards a game at this point. So, I mean, I think those two guys alone have played really well. And then the emergence kind of shooting guard, Caden Babbitt, who is a junior that didn't play for us last year. I mean, he suited up, but played JV primarily. And he's kind of come in. I mean, when we went up, we went up to Madison Memorial and we're fortunate enough to knock off Memorial there who's pretty highly thought of this year and traditionally. And I mean, Babbitt stepped up as a, as a junior and played really well in that game, scoring 15 points. And, you know, he's had a couple other double figures games as well. Uh, you, you mentioned Trey, you had it right on 23 points a game. That's what I have as well. Uh, you know, JJ uh, rebounding. I mean, yeah, he's had a, just a, a, a mind blowing uh, rebounding effort. Uh, like you said last week, um, you know, he's got the size, obviously, you know, football is his number one sport. Yep. What, what is it about a football player like that? I and mean, you mentioned a high level athlete. What is it about though, a guy that can play really well at another sport and then come in here and not only do what he does individually, but help the other guys on the team as well. Well, he's a tremendous athlete. I mean, he's a receiver in football. So I feel like he has the opportunity that every time a shot goes up, he's trying to high point the ball. I mean, he's, he jumps out of the gym. He's physically strong, works really, really hard in the weight room. And, you know, one thing that you can do is, I mean, you can develop bas basketball players, but when you have athletes to begin with, it gives you a step up. Um, you're going to be at the at the Wisconsin Basketball Yearbook Shootout, the Rick Majerus uh, Foundation. Um, you know, so Mark Miller calls. Uh, that's probably a pretty quick answer on yes, we'll be there. But talk about that opportunity for you and your guys to play on, on a stage like that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good for us. We haven't played in, you know, we obviously haven't had that opportunity at, at Parker in a while. And, you know, when I went in and he gave me a call and said, you know, do you want to play Marshfield in this? Didn't know a ton about Marshfield. I'd seen him last year on film because they actually came down here and played Madison Memorial. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I knew that Marshfield is traditionally fairly solid. And I know that they have some good young talent right now. So I think that, you know, for us to take that opportunity and kind of cross over and play another division one team, that's pretty solid from a 
a different part of the state is always a great opportunity. Plus, it gives our guys, I mean, it's going to give Trey and JJ and those guys a chance to kind of play on a bigger stage. Trey's going to be a college basketball player, so putting him on a college court, you know, in front of some people, I mean, there will be coaches there watching and everything. And, you know, he's a really good player. He's definitely probably one of the top two or three point guards in the Big Eight. So having him, giving him that opportunity is great. Talking to Janesville Parker boys basketball coach Matt Bredesen. Coach, as we wrap up here, um, let's talk about, you know, longer season goals. Uh, you talked about your conference. Yeah, a, a really fun conference to, to watch, uh, you know, and, and, and for you to be a part of. Um, how will playing in that type of conference help you in the postseason? I mean, it'll help us a lot because regional and sectional wise, we're headed at Southeast Wisconsin. So us, Craig and Beloit, the Southern teams of the big eight actually don't go with the rest of the big eight. So when we turn it over, we go to Kenosha and Racine and, you know, the Franklin's Oak Creeks, Muskego is, you know, kind of the South side of Milwaukee there for our sectional, which, you know, we try and schedule a lot of those teams non-conference so that it gives us an opportunity. But, you know, I think that being battle tested during the regular season helps us to get there. I mean, we went to sectionals two years ago. We went to regional final last year, lost to Racine Case, who ended up going to state and giving Nina a good run. So I think that, you know, us with our guys, putting them in positions where they have to play against athletes, you know, and, in the Big Eight right now, the Big Eight doesn't ha hasn't had the number of Division One basketball players it did in past years. However, everybody has Division One athletes, you know, guys that can play different sports at different, you know, at at that level. So being in that league, you know, every night we know it's going to be a battle. Whether the team we're playing is is you know a Middleton who's ranked third in the state right now, or whether we're playing Beloit down the road who hasn't played really well, but we know they have a lot of athletes. So, I mean, it's going to be a battle every night in and out. There's very few blowouts in the big eight. And, you know, I think that's good for our kids because our kids have to learn how to perform under pressure. Jamesville Parker, boys basketball coach, Matt Bredesen. Good luck against Marshfield and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you, sir. Want to save even more at Fleet Farm? Well, now you can with Fleet Rewards. It's free to sign up and there's no credit card required. Using Fleet Rewards is easy. Earn points every time you shop. Plus, get exclusive member offers, birthday and anniversary perks, free tire rotations, and more. Download the Fleet Farm app or create an account at fleetfarm.com slash rewards to start earning points today. Fleet Farm, proudly serving the Midwest since 1955.